everyone welcome back to another video so please do not feel scared by the two hours of this video this is an entire train with me i'm going to be going through my entire training route halfway through i do actually have to stop filming the riding between areas though because my computer was running out of space but a lot of it is just also literally you can just ride with me and train there's going to be fun games fun quizzes which will at least try and help you keep entertained whilst you train today if you do not want to watch the two hour version and you just want to do some quick games or something i'm going to have a shorter version as well which will be up soon i'm not sure when it's going to be up but there'll be a link somewhere on the screen when it's up in the description and stuff or if you have your post notifications on and you're subscribed then you're going to get a notification for that one as well so without further ado i hope you enjoy Enjoy this train with me. Why have they all fallen out of their spots? Okay, I fixed it up. So everything is slightly off center. I don't think that's my fault, but we've got one. We've got one. I, when I opened it, I honestly did not look at it at all. At all. I just made sure all of the update ones, the meant to be empty ones, were empty. And uh, the ones with a video idea are here. Oh my gosh, a piece of paper. it upside down okay maybe do every race up <laughs> I have to do every single race on mobile this one's gonna be a long video you guys <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my training route. We are on the mobile. At the end of the video, I'm going to have a sum up on what it was like training on the mobile for a day. And honestly, it wasn't as bad as I expected to give you guys a little sneak peek, but we're just gonna get started with the first activity, which is going to be a little quiz to get our brain started. This quiz is going to be for you racing people. There's going to be questions about how much XP the racers have and things like that. So uh, let's get our training brains on and try and get some trivia questions right.
All right, we are about to move into something much more interesting. Let's turn on the videos and if you guys are uncultured, then you do not know what a vine is. But this part, you can either just enjoy the vines that I'm going to put on the screen or you can try doing a little try not to laugh challenge where if you laugh, you have to restart the race. But I hope you guys enjoy because personally, I love a good vine. But maybe that's just showing my age a little bit. <laughs> It's for the pain. <laughs> Shiny, I don't. And the sand guardian, guardian of the sand. Poseidon quivers before him. Gah. Prono Ozen, Fruits, and Corically. Pin of Peoples. Papa Yale. Yeah. Bananas. Cantaloupe Poops. Champagne Man Juice. What the? Give me that coffee. Give me that coffee. Give me that coffee. No. <laughs> Drugs. No, we. We're okay. Drugs? This is awkward. No, thank you. Drugs. Who, inv who invited? Welcome to Radio Shah! Ah! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to t t t t t t t Target! <laughs> <laughs> Get to Del Taco. They got a new thing called Free 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 Shavaka Do. Free Shavaka. Hey, yeah, how much money do you have? Oh, like sixty nine cents. Uh, you know what that means? I don't have enough money for chicken nugget. I just saw the funniest meme. I'm sorry. Do you know what a meme is? I don't have enough money for chicken nugget. No. Chris, is that a weed? No, this is a crayon. I'm calling the police. Mary, is that a police? I'm calling the weed. 420, what you smoking? We actually have the chip reader now. Oh yeah? Hmm. Oh, it's not gonna work with that kind of transaction completed. Hey, can I have a large number three, please? Real easy to see, so you can check. Hey, what y'all get for number 12? I got 18. Oh, I got 9.5. I got Abraham Lincoln for some reason. I don't. I'm just gonna... Hello. Hi. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> there is only one thing worse than a rapist boom, a child. No. Do I look like- How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! Ah! Stop! I could've dropped my croissant! <laughs> hey Terry, you want some? Hello? <gasps> and they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Run. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh... Nothing Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other
cold outside. I got to go away, baby. It's cold. You guys say Colorado. What if my nose was <gasps> while I'm Squidward? <laughs> you better watch out, you better watch out, you better watch out, you better watch out, you better watch Hey, what? Mm -mm. No. Uh -huh. Come on, it's time to get high <laughs> Caterpillar rave. Well, when life gives you lemons. Hey, Ron. Hey, Billy. Something I'm giving up on. Hungry gong, a hinging on, a digging on, a squash banana, hungry. Ah! Why don't we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like M or F? Jesus, can you pass me a bottle of water? On water coming up. Jesus, you Jesus! So this is Kansas, but this is not our Kansas. America, explain! Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Excuse me, miss, what's the weather for outside seating like? You came in from the outside. How much you pay for that taco? Hey, yo, you know this boy, he's got his. Uh, you know, it's huge. Uh, you want to start playing your best baseball um, towards the end of May. I don't even know which way the quiz nose is. We're breaking We're free! Soaring, yeah, go ahead, pull it through. Thanks, bud. Give me my keys. I said my keys. I thought you said printer! Why the f would I say printer? Toss me my keys. Said my keys. I thought you said Christmas tree. Why the f would I say Christmas tree? Throw down the keys. I said keys. I thought you said coffee machine. Ah! Give me five. Oh. Up high. Down low. Oh. Give me five. Oh. Up high. Okay. Down low. Nice try. What's on your shirt? Work. Twang. Give me five. All right. Up high. You're not tricking me. Hey, look, I got you something. What you got? Hey, I'm in a store that only sells Christmas stuff, and it's August. White people! Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart cause they're not gay. You, yeah. you have any ice? 
I do not, I just have freezable fruit chips. Why? Just because. Dad, look, it's the good kush. This is the dollar store, how good can it be? I brought you frankincense, thank you. And I brought you myrrh, thank you. Murder, <gasps> Judas, no. I'm gonna nickname you Fardo. I guess that's my name now, until I die, Fardo. How did you take down Captain America? We shot him in the legs because his shield is the size of a dinner plate and he's an idiot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you to wash these dishes? Exactly what are you talking about? Don't play dumb! All these damn dishes! What dishes? There's- Hey bro, what do you want to eat? The souls of the innocent. A bagel. No! Two bagels. Want to see my impression of a British driver? Alright. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! Pruébala. Es cocaína. You got this, Travis. Make him wait for it. Boom. Hello. 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 Hello from the other side. So are you hanging out with Caitlyn yesterday? Re Rebecca, it's not what you did. I Take a second, I'ma do it for the vibe. Uh oh, looks like somebody changed the. Oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. And that was some vines. I'm gonna admit some of them I don't really get, but there are some of my favorite vines in there. Let me know in the comments below if you're from the vine era. You know what it was maybe cool and out or TikTok or whatever. But now we're just gonna have chill time, listen to some Christmas music for a few minutes, and then we'll be back with something else.
making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. 'Cause I missed you so, I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la 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 oh oh, la 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 oh oh, la 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 la. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles on the tree. And I lit my house with Christmas lights, so you should come back home to me. And when we wake up in the morning, I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la 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 la, oh, 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 la 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 la, la 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 la, making our Christmas memories. Yes, these are the good. With you, don't even care what we do. If I spend it with you,、mm -hmm. just you and nobody else. It's so good to see you again, to see you again, baby. This year, it's just gonna be you and me. Christmas memories.
It is time to play a game of Would You Rather Star Stable Online Edition. This was created in 2016, so they aren't talking about this year's English Thoroughbreds, but we could take it that way if we wanted to, but new or old English Thoroughbred, new Thoroughbred all the way. Your Vic Ponies or Welsh Ponies? Sorry Welsh Ponies, but I'm going to say your Vic Ponies. You can have different opinions to me though. I kind of wish they showed me the percentage, maybe they do at the end. Frisian or Andalusian? Probably the Andalusian, I'm gonna be honest. Colourful tack or realistic tack? I'm gonna say realistic, but there's nothing wrong with a little bit of colour. Arabian or Frisian sport horse? Ooh, I'm really sorry Arabian, but I'm gonna have to say the Frisian sport horse. Quarter horse or Morgan? Quarter horse all the way, although the Morgans are gorgeous as well. I love the old Morgans. Icelandic or New Morgan? Uh, I'm gonna have to say Icelandic, I think. What about you guys? What would you say? Riding or taking the trailer ferry? Depends on what I'm doing because I love to ride places during training because it kind of breaks up the monotony of training but if I could never trailer, oh no, I'd say riding. <laughs> Would you rather win every champ but have to ride your starter horse all the time or lose every horse but have as many horses as, as you want? I lose every champ anyways. <laughs> okay, would you rather have all the clothes and tack in game or all the horses in game? Honestly, I reckon the amount of clothes we have would be more expensive than the amount of horses we have. Actually, uh, I don't know. I'd say clothes anyway. Oh my gosh. Starshine Legacy or SSO? I've never played Starshine Legacy, but I kind of want to maybe on my second channel. Let me know if you want to see it on my main channel or my second channel. So I'm going to say SSO. Would you rather have all of your horses maxed but be bored or have too many horses to train and too much to do? I mean, the latter of the option is uh, what I have anyway. So too many horses to train because honestly, I like training. Newer horses, quarter horse and everything released after it, after it or older horses. Oh, I love them both. I don't hate the old horses. I'm going to say new horses. South Reef or Epona? Um, Epona all the way. Would you want a home stable added in South Reef or Dino Valley? Well, we did get one added in South Reef, so I'm going to say Dino Valley. Silverglade or the Harvest Counties? Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm going to say Harvest Counties, I think. Day or night in the game? Day all the way. Would you rather be able to buy the Soul Riders horse or make your own custom horse? I really don't actually want the Soul Rider horses to be available in the game because I think that they need a special horse, but I'd love to have my own custom horse too. Golden Leaf Forest Track or Hard Forest Track? Firgrove or... Okay, Golden... I don't really like the Firgrove ones. Actually, I don't hate them anymore. I used to really dislike them, but I don't hate them anymore. Opponent races or Hermit's races or Hermit. Opponent ones are annoying. Would you rather win every champ you enter but fail at the normal races or lose every champ but always get the best of the week? Oh, always get the best of the week. If you fail at all the normal races, you could never train. Would you rather get an exclusive sneak peek of the next new area and horse breed or a sneak peek of the next story quest? Honestly, uh, I don't like uh, new area and horse breed, I think. I think story quest is something that, I mean, Star Stable can't really release sneak peeks of a story quest because it'll spoil it for people who haven't even started yet. So yeah. Would you rather always have to name your horses with the same first and a different last word or vice versa? Wait, always have to name your horses with the same first word and a different last word or never be able to use the same word in two horses' names? Oh, totally the first one. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care about my horses' Jorvik names. I've like grown to not care about it. Also, I keep hitting my microphone a little bit. I don't know if it's making the sound bad. Would you rather have SSO add new main styles or have SSO add new character hairstyles? Ooh, character hairstyles. I don't mind the main styles that we already have. Would you rather be able to ride dressage in SSO or be able to compete in show jumping competitions? We can already kind of do show, show jumping, so I'm going to say dressage. Ooh, calculated. Oh, okay. So 93% said new thoroughbred. I almost, yeah, English thoroughbred. Ooh, 53% Welsh. Oh, maybe back in 2016 they didn't have like 
the new ones. I think that came out after 2016. Oh, well, I would have still said Your Vic Ponies. I don't know. The Welsh is okay, but it's just not my big thing. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Especially back in 2016, the Frisian and the Andalusian were basically the same. Okay, but Frisian won by, fifth, by like 6%. Colourful tack or realistic? Oh, poor colourful tack. Arabian or Frisian sport horse? Frisian sp Oh, <laughs> the poor Arabian. Okay. Oh! <gasps> People dissed my American quarter horse. Where are you guys now? Do you like the quarter horse now? No, I like the Morgan too. Oh, but the Iceland. Okay. Trailer fairy. Oh, I'm the minority here. I knew that would be the case. Why does no one like admiring Jorvik? Like, Star Stable put so much effort into the Aries and we just trailer everywhere because we're lazy. Uh, or lose every champ but have all the horses you want. Yeah, that one won. Oh, you see, most people said horses. I don't know. I'd love to do an actual calculation of uh, horses versus the amount of clothes in the game. I wonder how difficult that would be. And people said Star Stable. I wonder, like, oh, 25 people, actually. You see, when you see 6%, you're like, oh, who was that one person? But 25 people preferred Starshine Legacy, which is interesting. Um, too many horses to train and too much to do. Beautiful. People prefer the new horses. Uh, see, I still like the old horses, too. Don't worry, old horses. People like Epona. People want one in Dino Valley. See? Uh why do people want it in Dino Valley anyway? That's my question. Why do we want a home stable in Dino Valley? I don't know. Oh, <gasps> people like the Silver Glade more than Harvest Counties? Okay, that actually shocked me a little bit. Interesting. Oh, actually, a lot more people like Nighttime than I thought they would. Um, okay, that kind of makes me happy that we don't want to all take Star Stables, Soul Riders, Horses, <laughs> Golden Leaf. Yeah, I love Golden Hills Valley. Epona, okay. Oh, oh, Epona won. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Epona won that one? That new Hillcrest race gets me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Use of sneak peek of the new area. Yeah, that, see, sneak peeks of story quests don't really make sense to me. Uh, never be able to use interesting that's very limited for names then you know you guys don't know what you're talking about I, I don't know I don't know about that one new main styles interesting that one's very interesting to me 50 <gasps> 50 that is so actually <gasps> show jumping pull through with three more votes okay that's pretty crazy well that was star stable would you rather we can go do another one now And we have just reached the one hour mark. Oh, there we go. Right there. One hour. This video has been going on. It's probably like a little bit over an hour if I didn't film some parts. But we're going to have a little celebration party. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's 
stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna try Nothing can break me.
Alright, it is time to get very familiar with my voice. I'm going to be speaking for a while and this is going to be probably completely unedited because you do not understand how stressful it is to be editing a two hour video in one day. This has to go up in about, you know, 12 hours so hopefully I can get it up for then. But a few weeks ago, I did ask on my Instagram some assumptions and I made a video out of it but I got so many assumptions and I thought that, you know, we've got an hour left of training that this is the perfect time to read some assumptions. My phone just started running out of charge. So I'm gonna just bend down here and grab my charging cord. There we go, we can plug in the phone and it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna go through all of the assumptions, clarify some stuff, have some fun. Hopefully this takes an hour because I'm starting to run out of fun things to do. My computer's got like 12 gigabytes of space so I can't film another would you rather thing. So, um, I need that new hard drive that I was going to buy this week. Oh yeah, I was going to buy that tomorrow. Anyways, okay, back to the assumptions. Uh, you love animals? I do love animals. Alright, you're kind of like me. You're mostly kind, but when some someone does something wrong, you get mad. I actually don't get mad when people do things wrong because uh, we all make mistakes. We're all human. You're a really nice person. Always will check on you when you are not well or bored. Friendly towards her fans. I... <laughs> I like to think that I'm always friendly towards my friends and oh and my fans as well my friends and my fans um I hope I'm a nice person as well always will check on you when you are not well or bored I will check on you but like I'm not very good at offering advice like I don't know I don't know I can listen to it but usually I I don't know what to say back so uh, I don't say anything <laughs> sounds bad and it looks like I don't care but honestly you can sometimes talking can help you to be honest I think you're crazy I mean oh I did answer this I think I searched up the definition of crazy anyways uh, maybe I'm crazy maybe I'm not you're a pretty chill person who really loves their cat and their fans that is completely true Milo is my life I don't know where Milo is but 
I love him a lot and I also love you guys so much. I love your support and you all have been so kind to me, especially this year. And I'm so excited to see what, you know, just this December brings and even 2021. And by the way, you guys, if you have watched this whole video, you are the OG. If you are still watching right now, I love you so much. You are an amazing person. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you're having fun training. All right. I think Milo has a crush on you. I mean... I'm sure, actually, I don't know if he loves me or not, gonna be honest. You are an introvert, 100% correct. Introvert all the way. This is a continued one from the You're Kinda Like Me. Um, and you love animals too. I really want to know if we are kinda similar. I mean, if we're similar or not, doesn't really change anything. You are very nice and don't have place to put your money, so you buy. Got mad at this one in the last one. <laughs> You like to read. I do love reading, but I've just starting high school or not even high school, starting senior years of high school. I haven't really had much time to read that I kind of haven't. Like I just don't have time. And when I do, I'm just too tired to read that I can't keep my eyes open, even though I want to do more stuff. So that sounds bad. I don't sleep because I force myself not to because I'm too busy. Okay. You're rich because look, okay, yep, another you're rich one. Guys, not rich. Don't judge people by the amount of stock wins they have. You're a cat person. I'm a all animal person. Like, I don't want to discriminate just against the cats. You pretend to be AFK. I've already said this one that I do not. I, I have the worst track record of being AFK. But you see, we just need an AFK button in Star Stable or something because... I don't know, I'm just constantly going AFK that I completely forget that I'm online, it's pretty bad. And people tag me in Instagram stories and I'm like, huh, pretty sure I wasn't at my computer. Or I'm like, oh wait, I'm still in Star Stable? That's weird. Anyways, you are so sweet, I love you, I love you too, Zoe. You are so kind as well. To the people who say that you are kind to someone else, you guys are the real OGs, like you are awesome. Not even like OGs of me, just like, I don't, I don't know. We don't say OG as original anymore, you know? We say OG, oh, eh. oh my gosh. I hate myself that I'm not editing these out. It's fine, you know? It's like a live stream. Oh my gosh, wow. Except you guys aren't chatting live with me. You love buying horses, but at the same time you hate it because you're spending your star coins. I love buying horses, but I don't hate it because... I buy the star coins to make the video on. I think I'd hate it more if I bought the horse and the video didn't turn out how I wanted it to. The only reason I buy horses is for YouTube. If I didn't do YouTube, then I wouldn't have star coins and I wouldn't buy as many horses. So I don't know. I don't mind spending my star coins because I know that you guys also like watching buying horse videos. So I like to film them for you guys. So I have fun. Okay. You like cats more than dogs? They're pretty equal. I love cats because they're really cuddly and fluffy and cute, but so are dogs. But I also love dogs because you can go for a walk with them and they actually walk with you. I have a lead for Milo and we take him for walks outside because he's an inside cat, but like you don't walk the cat. The cat walks you. At least that's just what most cats are like. So I want to have a dog just to go for a walk with. I feel like going for walks outside going for runs and stuff you'd feel so much more motivated with a dog by your side anyways you're going to move out and take milo just so you can spoil him more i'd love to but my parents won't let me move out with milo and actually i don't think i'll be able to find an apartment that allows cats that's a rental and i don't think i'm gonna be financially stable enough to buy my own apartment especially since when i move out i don't really know if i want to stay in the city that i want to move to so it's very much like you, I don't want to buy something. I'd prefer just to rent for the time of my uni life and see if I like it there before I move there. You are so kind and pretty. It's not an assumption. It is a real fact. You are so kind, Clara, Clara, Clara. You're an anime fan. I think I mentioned this in the assumption video, but no, not really. Sorry to disappoint. You're super smart and you do your best. I always do try to do my best and I don't know if I'm super smart. <laughs> You want another pet cat all the way? Definitely want another cat pet thing. <laughs> thing? No, animal. Um. <laughs> if you ever had the chance to ride, you would take it 100%. I'd love horse riding, but I don't know if I have the time right now to ride horses every week. <sighs> Should have got some water for this. 
You're secretly getting bored of Star Stable and like it when they put out quests. I actually don't get bored. I've got plenty of stuff to do with Star Stable. I think it's totally up to your creativity and what you can do in Star Stable. You love horses and cats, 100% correct. You live on a ranch, I do not. Do you actually love your followers? 100% of course. Honestly, it's so hard to express how much you love people over the internet like i i don't know how to express it and then people i feel like i have to give you guys stuff like i have to do star queen giveaways all the time but at the same time when you don't have the money to do that it's like i don't know but then i feel bad because i say that but i have the money to buy my own star coins i guess but it's like you guys don't see it but i actually don't always buy star coins i buy star coins like every two months i guess sometimes less it's just I see a lot of people, they buy 10,000 star coins and then they do a 10,000 star coin shopping spree. Whereas I buy star coins and I don't always spend them. Like some weeks I buy a horse. Most weeks I'm buying horses lately just because they're easier videos to film. And as I said before, you guys like buying horse videos. But anyways, anyways. Huh. Do you spend your own money on star, sta star stable coins? <laughs> yes, that is that's totally my brain, not what they wrote. By the way, love your videos. So glad that you enjoy my videos. And yes, I do. My own money all the way. You are a hard worker and introvert. Yeah, I, I reckon I work pretty hard. That you ride horses and you're 18, 19 or maybe younger. Um, I've ridden horses, but I don't ride them regularly. And am I 18, 19? I don't know. I don't know. You're secretly... Oh, you secretly hate your starter? I actually don't. I really like my starter. Beautiful horse. Definitely number one. No, <laughs> American Quarter Horse is all the way. Sorry, starter horse. Oh my gosh. You are the nicest human being on the earth. You are the nicest human being on the earth. <laughs> your favorite subject besides the one you choose is writing. I think I mentioned this one. I mean, I love to write, but... Uh, oh, besides the one you choose. Otherwise, I'd be like, film and TV all the way. I don't know. I like how maths, like, once you understand it, you can always have their answer. But then maths is like, it switches itself up on you. Like, complex, unfamiliar in exams, always my downfall. All right. You're an only child. I've got three siblings, two brothers, one sister. Actually, the day that I'm filming this, 4th of December. Um, what was I going to say? 4th of December. Uh... Oh yeah, it's my brother's birthday. Wow, okay, don't mind my brain. You're 18 to 19 years old. You can't ride IRL, but if you could, you'd probably do show jumping or eventing. Um, oh, I don't know, am I that old? By you can't ride IRL, it's like I physically I can ride, but it's more like time management and also how expensive riding is around here and like how far away I live from everything. Um... Honestly, I'd probably consider eventing, honestly. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd actually do dressage in real life. That seems way too stressful. Like, I get stressed in Star Stable. Dressage in real life is a whole other level. You're a very thoughtful, kind friend and hardworking. That is very kind of you to think that of me. I don't know what to say about myself. I don't want to sound narcissistic. I don't know. I don't even know my own thoughts, to be honest. I don't know what to say about myself. You hate cheese. If I'm right, we can't be friends. I don't know who you are, but I guess it's good that you don't hate cheese. I mean, I don't hate cheese. You have a small group friends IRL. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I do. I think I mentioned that in the. I think I mentioned this one. <laughs> Sorry. This is a fact. You are so kind and amazing. You deserve everything. Thank you so much. You are so kind. Uh, this person assumed that I was American at first. Nope, not American. It's far away from America. <laughs> Uh, your heart, your cut, your hard working. <laughs> you're kind and loving. You work hard and are going to be very successful in life. I love you so much. I love you as well. Thank you for thinking that. I think that you get what you deserve in a way. So it might not happen all the time, like instantly. But I think if you're a good person and you work hard, then you're gonna get what you deserve. And maybe you might think that you're working hard, but the universe has this other plan for you maybe you're not working hard in the right area or you're just not working hard enough i don't know that you are really pretty irl and are about 16 and are a girl also i love your youtube thank you so much i am a female 
Uh, I don't know if I'm really pretty. I don't see it. You guys are almost complimenting me. I don't know. I feel like it's very typical to be like, oh, I don't like myself. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't comment on stuff like that. Um, moving along, you're really antisocial. I don't think I'm antisocial. I just think that I've got social anxiety. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. This person said you are the best. Thank you so much. You are amazing and the best as well. You are kind and working hard for your subscribers. I don't think people see it, but I am always working. It might be December and I'm currently on summer holidays, but I got up at 6 a.m. this morning and I have been working nonstop. It's currently 11.30 a.m. Um, hopefully this video is going to be worth it. Honestly, I don't think this video is going to be worth it because I don't know how many people, you know, want to do a train with me, sit for two hours just watching this one video. Um, especially since for some parts I have had just to put music, which I feel like sometimes music isn't the most entertaining thing to listen to whilst training, but I guess it's something other than listening to the Star Stable sound and doing nothing, I guess. I don't know, just training anyways. Huh. You really love horses. I do really love horses. When you're older, you're going to own a million animals. Actually, probably not. I, the type of person who actually, I think I really enjoy the city and in the city, you can't really have a lot of animals. Even having like a cat or a dog, it's kind of like hard in a city because you don't have a backyard. I mean, if you do have a backyard in the city, like props to you, but I don't know. I probably won't have a million animals. I don't think I'll have the time for that anyways. Like, Honestly, maybe I'm a hard worker. I like to think that I work hard. Like, I'm always working anyways. Very socially awkward. Um, it's, it's hard because I guess, like, my brain tells me that I'm really bad in social situations. But I just don't talk. Maybe I'm socially awkward. But that sounds super negative. Like, it's a bad thing. But uh, I feel like I don't embarrass myself by saying the wrong thing. I just don't speak maybe that's I, I don't know it's hard to explain it's very hard to explain you love nature I do love nature I love going for walks and things like that you must have so many plushies in star stable I've only got the token starshine concord and the donkey oh and the um the horse thing from Dun not Dundle Redwood so that's five I don't have I also have to, okay I think I have all of the plushies that you can get but that's not like a lot compared to I don't know the cats that you can buy in Star Stable if that makes sense all right you almost never get sick and when you do it's normally only a cold that's pretty true actually oh I swiped it away that's pretty true the only time I've gotten sick is when my little brother gave it to me he got stomach bug two years ago which I got and that was so annoying and then he got the flu last year thankfully I didn't get the flu but I social distanced myself from him I was literally like I am not going anywhere near anyone like I literally didn't even go out for dinner I like sat in my room but yeah, um, I usually just get colds, but my colds are like, they're not really bad. It's just, I don't know. When my channel started to grow, it was from that midsummer flower thing, right? But the funny thing is, is I was sick. <laughs> I had a cold throughout that. So I sounded so bad, especially since I was recording them at like 6 a.m. Like, oh my gosh, I sounded so bad. Um... But yeah, I guess that's pretty true. You are getting tired of... Okay, I'll answer that in the other one. I'm not getting tired of replying to comments. You love SSO on mobile and on computer. I prefer SSO on computer. Um, I'll talk about it at the end. But honestly, training on mobile, it's not as bad as you'd think. But honestly... I don't know if I'd be able to completely just play Star Stable on mobile. There's a few things that I leave to do on the computer, like Druid training. I cannot save the horse for the life of me. Maybe it's just me and not being skilled at computer games. You can see me completely failing this. Like, I cannot ride. But, yeah, I'm going to do save the horse later on my computer just because I can't do it on the mobile. There's just a few things that aren't as comfortable to do on the mobile. You might not notice that if you have... Because I've obviously played the game on the computer for like eight and a half years now so obviously I'm just used to it on the computer maybe if you like only played the like you haven't ever played on the computer you probably just like grow accustomed to what you are used to like the mobile cats are your favorite animals cats are one of my favorite animals I don't want to say that I have favorite animals you're a cat person honestly I find it funny that when you have a cat people think you're a cat person and when you have a dog people think you're a dog person 
um milo's not even my cat he's the family cat but it's like my parents don't my dad would get a dog but i think it's too hard to get a dog now just because um my parents are getting older and just where we live like my parents both work almost full-time like my dad works a full-time job my mum does shift work every week so it's like they don't have time to look after the dog and then because you obviously have to play with them walk with them and you know almost all of my parents kids have moved out now so it's like who's gonna do that otherwise so you know the dog probably just wouldn't live the best life with us anyways which I totally understand but yeah anyways you have a lovely personality with people in real life I mean I, I don't know I, I can't really comment on my personality I feel um, I'm just uh, a person with lots of social anxiety which is fun you you're really kind and sweet and you like the wild woods i think wild woods is gorgeous um i don't know i really like all of star stable i it's find it hard to say my favorite place in star stable you'll love you love your cat really a lot of course i do you have tried doing an american accent before i mean i guess i have tried yes but I can't do an American accent. Like when I try to do accents, I cannot do it at all. I have to quote something. So when I think of an American accent, this is the vine that I usually quote. It's um, road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Like that's that's my American accent basically is vines. <laughs> all right, you are a popular and social person all around. Love your videos. That is incorrect. I'm not very popular and I'm not social at all. You are a crazy cat mom. I'm a crazy cat photographer. <laughs> I love Milo so much. I'd feed him all the food in the world. You are... Is the phone ringing? Do I have to pick up the phone? Are you kidding me? It was a weird 03 number. We're not doing that today. I'm not. I don't pick up the phone. Okay. When people call me and I don't know who they are, I don't answer them. <laughs> so if your number isn't in like a contact as my phone, I don't pick you up. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Uh, you are very grateful. Yes, I am so grateful for everything that people have done for me. It's literally hard to believe. It's just crazy. It's absolutely insane. It's so weird looking at other YouTubers and being like, wait, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> that's that's just crazy. I don't know. You love Milo. Of course I do. You have 100 horses that is correct i do you have a very big heart and you love most of the people in your life ps love your videos thank you so much um i hope that i have a big heart i i i don't even know i don't even know i don't know who i am i don't know who i am you love surfing but you're afraid of sharks i've never been surfing before my question is are you an australian who surfs or are you an american thinking of the stereotype of australians surfing <laughs> because honestly i actually don't know anyone who surfs there was one old teacher that we had uh he used to surf a lot but he's yeah you like chickens honestly yes yes you secretly are from america but you say you're from australia nope honestly can i be honest i love australia i'm glad that i grew up here i'm glad that i live in in australia america scares me <laughs> you're very nice irl but we'll say what's in your mind i do not say what's in my mind i'm a very closed off person uh if i'm ever struggling i don't voice it you know just nothing at all i don't talk to anyone about anything that's in my mind all right i think you are going to be one of the best sso youtubers that is so kind of you to say you see i feel like i'm kind of like five sauce right now and i'm like the famous unknown Star Stable YouTuber. Not that I'm famous. I don't think I'm famous, but like I feel like people still don't know about me. And it's just weird. It's very weird. I don't know. I'm not saying that people should know about me. I'm just saying that people keep saying that I'm famous and I'm like, I don't feel famous. I don't feel famous. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I think you are secretly a famous YouTuber and you are just disguised as a new YouTuber. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> secretly PewDiePie. Oh, right there. You see that glitch? All right. I had to uh, full stop because Star Stable Mobile has this glitch where sometimes 
your controls don't work except for the full stop like you click you can't click the jump button or the up or down arrow so you have to full stop yourself to fix the controls which is kind of annoying but yeah anyways um yeah i'm definitely like pewdiepie in disguise or something no like i'm i'm literally not i've this is my one you I have one other YouTube channel that I uploaded one video to uh, when I was eight, which we don't talk about. We don't ever talk about that. It's not even a bad video. At least like, it's a bad, it's not cringy though. Um, it's just bad. But like this is the only channel I've had. I've had it for six years, over six years now. You sleep with a cat. Um, Milo's actually not allowed in my room at nighttime. Like after I go to bed he had like when when we go to bed he has to be in the laundry my parents think it's unhygienic or something to have him in the room with you or like he'll wake you up at 5 a.m and that's bad for your sleep schedule you know you'd have bad sleeping and i'm like honestly i don't care <laughs> so oh one time i don't know if i told you guys this but on my last all night and my dad turned out the internet so i couldn't do it which is totally my fault probably for like telling my sister and my little brother then heard and it's like my little brother snitched on me which was mean but to be re rebellious i uh, i let milo sleep in my room i purposely said no i'm keeping milo in my room tonight <laughs> it was so cute he doesn't sleep on my bed though he doesn't like to you're insecure even though you shouldn't be because you're beautiful you are so kind uh when i'm 100% I'm a very insecure person. You're an aesthetic, calm and chill girl. You always have everything organized. Honestly, I don't think I'm completely organized. I'm trying to be more organized with my YouTube, but sometimes it's very last minute. Like, I don't know, I don't know. But um, I mean, I try to be aesthetic, you know, good candle here or there. <laughs> you love SSO and you love Milo, both 100% correct. You're a star stable moderator, honestly my dream to be an ambassador but it's like i feel bad because i feel like a lot of people are like i want to be an ambassador and my question to a lot of people especially i don't know like why do we want to be an ambassador personally i think i just want to support star stable in that way i want to represent star stable um i feel like a lot of younger people like they know that star stable ambassadors get star coin sometimes only sometimes to buy the new horse so they can promote it but I don't want the star coins. I'm perfectly capable of getting my own star coins. And honestly, I like to buy star coins just because I know that I'm supporting the Star Stable team and paying for the game. Like honestly, Star Stable has to pay so many things that we don't think about. Like they have to pay for all of the servers. They have to pay like for the servers to be up and they have not up 24 seven. So that would be expensive. And they have so many servers. They have to pay their workers. They have to pay for things like the Adobe Suite to make their videos, things like that. They have to pay for, you know, a lot of stuff. So I like to support Star Civil in that way, but I'd love to be an ambassador just to like support and represent Star Stable like officially, I guess. I'm not sure, but why would do you, like if you want to be an ambassador, why do you want to be an ambassador? Cause I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But it's like, how do you even become an ambassador? That's always been my question. But I'll just keep doing what I love. And what I love is making YouTube videos. What I love is playing Star Staples. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna do. You hate broccoli. P.S. I love you. I love you too. And I'm, no, I actually, I like broccoli. Sure, I, I eat broccoli. I eat basically anything when I eat. Okay, you have a pretty good job, IRL. I had to like think about that for, for that for a while. Um, I'm a senior at high school, uh, and I work at a fish and chip shop. Honestly, my fish and chip shop had like my job there for the first two years. It was the most stressful thing. Like in the first few months, that was like when my anxiety was so bad. It was so bad. Like oh my gosh. It's, it got better because I always worked with the boss and obviously that's going to be stressful but also just the way he taught I guess just wasn't how I learned things like that but now like I still feel anxious when I go to work but I I kind of like I know how to work now I know what how to do everything so I can do everything so I'm not stressed about that it's just like that you know with anxiety when it's like I'm not anxious and then your body's like but you are though that's what it's kind of like and i'm also scared that there's not gonna not gonna be anything to do but anyways um you're a princess irl not a princess <laughs> you have a dog irl i do not you really really like cats i do i do 
you wish SSO was not making a new game and that they would just continue this game. They are continuing this game. I think people are getting it very wrong. Star Stable has the Star Stable development team and then they have a completely separate team for all of the other games like they're not going to forget about star stable because they have another game it just means that their enterprise is expanding again which means they they're like getting more employees which is why they need more money as well but yeah they're not forgetting about star stable anyways that you secretly work for sso okay star i don't secretly wish i oh secretly work for SSO. No, I don't. No, I do not secretly work for SSO. Um, Star Stable had a job on their SSO job things called content creator. And genuinely, like I was considering applying for it when I leave school, <laughs> like just as a uni kind of work, see where that takes me. Cause I want to do film and TV. And the good thing with film and TV is it's so broad. I can be a content creator um, for like a business. I feel like I love YouTube, but I don't think I ever want to make YouTube my full-time, full-time job. Like I want to do something more professionally, but I'm not saying that I'm going to quit YouTube when I go into an actual job. I think I'd keep it as like a side hustle, side hobby kind of thing. Um, your favorite animal is cats. By the way, I love you so much. I love you too, Emma. And I don't know. I don't have a favorite animal. You're gorgeous and amazing. That is very kind of you. I don't know what to say about that. Funny, kind, loves her cat. I I don't know if I'm funny. Maybe I'm kind and I do love my cat. You know you are getting 50k soon. I mean, I know. I do not know that. Honestly, I'm just taking things as they go. I think it's like... For me, right now, I'm just trying to keep myself going. Like, uh, it's hard to explain, but I feel like you you have to keep striving for more because I feel like no one can ever be happy with where they're at. The way that I look at YouTube is I have so much fun making YouTube videos, but I also kind of want to make it like a business in a way. I don't know if this is making sense, but, and I don't want to be like, oh, I'm never happy with what I have. Cause let me tell you, I am so happy with where I am. But I feel like if you stop and being like, oh yeah, I'm a good right now. Like, I don't know. I feel like you can always improve something. So if I keep improving so I don't know if that's making sense. I don't think I'm going to hit 50, 50k soon. Like, it's not going to be like 2020 year that I grew from 200 subscribers to 50k. It's going to be like, I, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to be at by New Year's. I'm hoping to be at 20k by my birthday which is in February and I think we're going to be at 15k by Christmas which I think will be really exciting because I'm dropping merch at Christmas or not at Christmas I'm dropping merch at 15k so if you guys are excited for that make sure you subscribe <laughs> honestly okay if you are here right now almost two hours into this video and you have not subscribed then what are you doing mate click that subscribe button you are dedicated <laughs> all right you are very shy 100 percent correct you're a queen i mean we all know that that is very kind of you you don't like the morgans in sso actually i was just saying this earlier in the video i love the morgans i think they're really cool you secretly have a cat tea party once a week <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> i don't no i do not um, you like ponies better than normal horses. Uh, I feel bad saying that I prefer horses because I also love ponies. I'd say they're pretty equal. You have only a few really good friends. That's probably true. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You have one million American quarter horses. Pff, I wish. No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. You like eating pizza. I, I don't know. I don't like food questions. You are a bit shy. More than a bit, sweetie. <laughs> you love your cats. I love my one cat, yes. <laughs> In IRL, you wish to have a whole house full of animals. Honestly, I love it. But as I said earlier, I don't think I'd be able to handle that, to be honest. I'm assuming that you play Star Stable 24-7. I do not. I What you guys see in videos is when I play Star Stable. Um... I'm either at work, at school, doing schoolwork, filming, editing. Yeah, I don't have a lot of time to free play Star Stable in a way. Um, you hate dogs? I do not hate dogs. No one knows you... Uh, oh, no one knows you have YouTube IRL in school and you feel motivated now and then to make videos. Um, actually, people do know that I have YouTube in school. My friends have known. And, um, okay. There's this person in my year and his sister 
watches Alicia online and I think I came up in her recommended or something but see now that I've done a face reveal I actually feel sometimes a little unsafe about having done a face reveal things like that I don't know it's just like more people can recognize you but basically his sister found my YouTube channel recognized me told her brother her brother came to me so that's fun it's kind of scary thinking that people can recognize me around school like I don't know I feel like Star Stable is big enough to um have somewhat of an influence in my school so it's like how many people oh my gosh this is so stressful watching me always fall off the bridge oh i remember that feeling so stressed in that part um it's kind of weird thinking how, do people actually know me at school i don't know i don't know what is your favorite animal hey that's not an assumption buddy you're amazing you're amazing you're very very kind thank you thank you you ride in I real I you ride in real life. I do not ride in real life. You are twenty plus years old. I'm still in school. I'm not like an old person in school. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. I don't like making myself sound younger than I am, but I don't like making myself sound older than I am. People have told me that I'm mature for my age, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hate Australia. <laughs> I hate Australia. I hate it because honestly, Australians just look young. We look super young. Um, it's just an Australian thing. Um, we just look young. Uh, amazing. Absolutely beautiful and absolutely fun. That is so very kind of you. You love to be outside and exploring. Honestly, I do. But that's why I like the city. Because I feel like the city is like the heart of... From the city, you can go anywhere. Whereas where I live right now, it's like a few hours to the latest... To the nearest like public transport kind of thing. So it's hard to explore. You stole one of my cat's names, aka you have a really cute cat. Um, I didn't steal it. We didn't name our cat. He came from the refuge and they named him Milo. So we just kept his name. You're an amazing, kind of wonderful person. Wait, I know that's not an assumption. You are so kind. Lorelei? Lorelei, you are very kind. You get straight A's. Um, uh, yes. Um, actually, in my, like, high senior part of school I dropped down a little bit in maths just because maths I took the higher level maths and maybe that was a bad idea I don't know but I dropped down a little bit in maths I'm still not like failing I'm still doing all right it's just I'm not like a plus anymore in maths and also just the way I do Italian at school we used to have an Italian teacher beautiful I love her so much but we didn't get enough students to actually have her as a teacher so I went online and I from the beginning did not want to go online for a language but the principal no the deputy principal like course coordinator and my dad said that I should try it so I tried it and it just online stuff doesn't work for me like I'm super socially awkward in not socially like I have a lot of social anxiety in real life but online it's really bad like if I I can't talk to the teacher it's that bad but yeah so I don't get A's in it Italian anymore either you are actually a potato oh no they figured me out you like horses I do you really like pasta Italy <laughs> you have a boyfriend because you're so pretty I don't I'm so lonely and it's been I've been feeling it lately I've been feeling the loneliness lately. That you love training but don't have time for it. At least you are 100% correct. You're British? No, I am not. I mean, Australian stem from British heritage. But Australian all the way. All right. You're perfect. That it. That's it. That is very kind of you to say. You love the old models in the game but are scared to tell everyone. I will be the first to advocate my love for the old models. <laughs> I love the old and the new models. I think they're all beautiful um this picture is really cute i don't remember what picture i had but thank you <laughs> you're really smart i i don't i don't know i don't know you eat toast for breakfast um maybe sometimes I, I don't know you're amazing thank you so much you don't take care of your horses in sso stable care all the way you're amazing once again thank you did i already read that one maybe i read I don't even remember. You don't care to- Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, I'm reading the wrong line. It's fine. You don't like rats in real life? Um, I don't. They're kind of weird. Um, you're 16 to 17? I don't know. Am I? One day I'll probably tell you. I don't know. In fact, I've mentioned it on my channel before. I just decided that it was fun now to not tell you guys. <laughs> you're shy, very loyal, and funny. Thank you so much. I'm hoping that you think that of me. I don't know if I think that of me. I don't know. I don't know. You like warm bloods better than cold bloods. Gonna be honest, I don't know. I don't really know. You are literally so nice and sweet. I love your videos. Thank you so much, Amadea. 
Kittenju, thank you so much. You are very kind as well. You're a plant lover. Simon. Simon. <laughs> Simon died. I tried my hardest. I love Simon. I gave him water when I needed to. I gave him some sunlight, but not too much. But he just died on me. And I just don't have Simon anymore. Uh, do you play Roblox? No, I don't. Do you know the Norris Nuts? I love them so much. I do know the Norris Nuts, but I don't watch them a lot. You love coffee? I love coffee, but coffee makes me super anxious. Like, for someone- I said this a lot in today's video, I'm being very honest. Like, who's gonna watch two hours into this training video? How many people are gonna find out about my anxiety problems? But, for an already anxious person, when you have coffee, I like die. The only time I can have coffee is when I'm like not at school, not working. Like um, the last holidays, I took two weeks off from work, which is honestly great. Like I wish I could quit. <laughs> I wish I could quit fish and chips, but um, it was great. Cause I could have coffee. Cause like it only made me anxious instead of me already being, I was already anxious, but like you're less anxious when you don't have work. So um, instead of dying, I only was anxious. <laughs> it was great. Um, you're so nice and friendly, not an assumption. I'm stating true facts. Caitlin, you are very, very kind. Um, oh, Alice Longbird submitted one. Why? Why do I fangirl over Alice? <laughs> okay. You are very outgoing and like fashion. Favorite color would possibly be blue. I'm not outgoing. I'm a very shy person. I do like fashion. I think that you can express yourself through fashion. Um, favorite color would possibly be blue. Be it blue. My favorite color is purple, but I also like red and blue, which coincidentally mixed to make purple. So, you know. Yes. <laughs> You're gorgeous. That is very kind of you to say. You're a school nerd. It's not too it's not bad to be a nerd. I don't know if I'm a school nerd. Actually, no, I don't think I'm a school nerd because I have a friend and she's always doing schoolwork. I only do schoolwork at school because I got YouTube to do at home and you know, relaxing. I think I'm about to get kind of deep with all of you who have stood around for almost two hours with me. But basically I think I'm very mature, but it's also just because I've been through a lot in my life that some people haven't been. Like, I feel like a lot of people look up to me and they're like, you're so strong. And it's like, that's because I've been so weak as well that, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm always strong either. It's just, I feel like I gave up hope and trusting in people that I decided to be my own strong person for myself. So in a way, I feel like I'm like, I need to have free time because you need to have free time in your life. It's so bad for you to always be doing schoolwork. Like you cannot always do schoolwork. So I only do schoolwork at school and I get it done. As long as I get it done, it's cool. Uh, it's a little deep part over. Could have gone deeper, but we didn't. Love your videos and we love, oh, sorry. I read it completely wrong. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> it actually says you love your subscribers and we love you and I love you guys so much And thank you so much for loving me back. You're so kind. Hilda, you are so kind to me all the time um, You're shy and want to hide from fans in SSO. I don't know. I just wanted to write something I am shy and honestly sometimes I do want to hide in Star Stable. I think it's like oh I dropped my pen that I was fiddling with it's like sometimes at night time people try to talk to me, but I just need time alone and even just talking in Star Stable, like I just need time away from people. So it's like at that moment that I wanna have an invisibility thing. Um, usually when I'm with the club, I don't talk to fans because I feel like I need to focus my time on the friends in the club that I'm talking to. So I don't talk to you guys when I'm in club events, doing club stuff. Sometimes I wave, but other than that, I just like to have my focus on the people that I'm with because I feel like I don't want to be the annoying YouTuber who's like, oh, sorry, just my fans keep talking to me. I can't pay attention to you because I think my club is so important and like having a club is so important to like if you want one. And uh, when I'm filming, I sometimes I do say hi, but actually um, a lot of the lately I've been feeling very tired. I that sounds bad and you guys are gonna freak out you guys are so kind like i say that i'm tired and you're like stop making videos and i'm like no i love making videos that's not the problem i think maybe i'm just like socially exhausting myself so i haven't uh really been talking to fans in the game i've been waving and stuff and i love you guys so much but it's it's just kind of been hard for me lately with social stuff 
All right, moving on. You are a really good student and really nice in real life. I think I'm a good student. I don't know. I listen in class. I like listening in class. Learning is fun. Maybe I am a school nerd. <laughs> You are brave and very- Oh, look! This person said I'm brave. Thank you. <laughs> you are brave. Very, very, very clever. That's a fact. And also, I don't know why, but you love vegetables. I do love vegetables. Vegetables are fun. Honestly, okay. I went to the dentist the other day and, like, they put this weird, like, cleaning stuff on your teeth. But it's so sweet. Like, I felt sick the entire time. And then at the end, they put fluoride on your teeth because the water- doesn't because i'm on tank water the water doesn't have fluoride in it and fluoride helps build your teeth nice and strong so um sometimes the dentists put it on your teeth maybe that's just like a australia thing where i'm from thing but yeah and that honestly it tasted so much better than the other stuff like because the other stuff was so sweet anyways um you are showing me Milo pictures right now, please. Um, I'm not going to put them in this video, but Milo has an Instagram. If you want to check it out, it's at uh, best Milo the cat. Uh, oh, eggplant. Eggplant's a minute one. Oh, okay. You are really smart in school and have an easy time managing school and videos. Um, I wouldn't say that it's always easy, but I don't know. I think it's where your priorities lay. I, yeah, I don't think it's easy at all. I think it's completely organization. Um, you are more of an introvert. Sorry, you are 100% correct. That you were bullied in the club. Oh, wait. <laughs> Pinky. You guys always bully me. I quit. Okay. Um, Mooney, of course I'm your friend. 100%. You want to make YouTube your full-time job. Um, for, for now, I, I don't want to make YouTube my full-time job. I think I'd quit Fish and Chips and have just youtube as like a part-time thing because with school as well but i would definitely want to go more professional in a way like i want to learn in the film industry i've been doing assumptions this entire video but there's so many and honestly it's just kind of been fun to sit here and chat with you guys you were single <laughs> so lonely so lonely okay oh we've reached the end oh my god i actually went through all the assumptions okay we've only got a few more you love all your subscribers so much 100 percent correct you're scared of horses juice you've got the wrong person you gotta go check out my wifey at just another wifey bubbles that is not fun and bubbles as well you're an introvert and like potatoes 100 percent correct <gasps> and that is all of the assumptions oh my gosh we're done we're coming to the end of the training video i think i'm gonna wrap up what i think of um what I think of training on the mobile. So I think it was pretty good. As you guys might have been able to see, I actually lost connection a few times, which is not my internet. It's just like, um, I think the mobile has some trouble sometimes connecting to the internet because it's obviously wireless and mobiles don't have as good internet connection wireless as computers do. But yeah, so I lost connection a few times. And honestly, I think that you can train on mobile, but I definitely think it's way more comfortable on the computer. Um, Jura training is fun except for save the horses. I cannot save the horses for the life of me. What else? What else did I think about? Just a few little button glitches where you can't go fast or slow or jump and you have to like force stop yourself before you can do the other stuff and yeah I I don't know I think it's it's possible but I definitely prefer playing Star Stable on the computer the more that I play Star Stable on the phone the more I realize that I like it on the computer better so my bad but yeah also I tried to go to the Christmas village and it crashed so that's why I didn't do the Christmas village races but yeah that's that's my little bit of feedback let me know if you have any questions in the comments below i also have a faq video so do not ask me how you can buy it because i've already replied to this question so many times and if you pay attention to star stable's official news pages then you will have all of the information of star stable but i think i'm gonna leave you guys with some music for the last uh quick math six minutes nope uh seven minutes <laughs> so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did then make sure to let me know in the comments below let me know if i should do a more real-time train with me video where we literally just like i i don't i don't want to be copyrighted so i can't literally because i was watching brooklyn 99 the entire time of filming this this is just voiceover stuff so if you want me to do a whole like train with me where we do something in real time and i don't cut anything out then make sure to let me know in the comments below uh remember i don't know why you should be watching it but if you want to watch the sped up version then there's also going to be that one very soon 
But yeah, I love you all very much. If you did enjoy the video, remember to give it a thumbs up because that shows that you liked it. And also subscribe because if you made it this far into the video, like you just got to subscribe. Like you are dedicated. Just subscribe. I'm telling you, just subscribe. Just do it. Just do it. Come on, do it. <laughs> But I love you all so much. I hope you are. Oh, I hit my microphone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys later soon. I forgot my outro. Bye.